Welcome to Spider Auto's custom headlight installation guide for the Dodge Ram 1500. We'll start by opening the hood. Now locate the two torque screws that are visible behind the grill that secure the headlight. Use a T25 torque screwdriver or similar to remove the screws. With the screws removed, now we have to move over to the front fender at the wheel well. Right in this crease here, there's a 10 millimeter nut. Now, there's a rubber access plug that allows you access to remove that nut. Pull the plug and you can get at the nut. Now that we've removed the plug, we can remove this 10 millimeter nut. See it in there? Carefully remove the nut. This can be tricky since it's hard to get your hands in there. With the two torque screws and 10 millimeter nut removed, now you can remove the headlight by prying outward on it gently. Before we can remove the headlight completely, we have to remove the bulb sockets from the headlight assembly. Give the turn signal socket a twist to free it from the assembly. Be sure to keep all the bulb socket gaskets. Now here's where things get different. This is for if you have an LED halo version of our projector headlights. On the reverse, you've got your primary connector for your headlights, low beams and high beams respectively. And while it's out, be sure to check that all vent hoses are facing down and that the seals are all snug. This will help prevent condensation issues later. Take a look at the wires leading out of the bottom of the headlight. You've got two color sets of wires, red and black and white and black. Match the wires together by color, pairing red to red, black to black, white to white, and so on by twisting the wire ends together. Now it's time to connect the remaining wire leads. Connect the red and white wires together and the black wires to each other. When finished, you should approximately have this, red and white and black to black connected. Now, for those of you with the CCFL Halo version of our projector headlights, this is for you. Start by locating the black CCFL inverter box that came with your headlights. There are two sets of wires coming out of the box. The red and black ones are the ones that are okay to splice. Connect the red wire to the white wire and the black to the black, as shown. Never cut or splice the gray and white CCFL wires. Modifying these high voltage wires is not only dangerous, but will void your warranty. Connect the wire leads for your CCFLs to the remaining leads, matching by color, red to red, black to black, white to white, and so on. Connect the wires by twisting the ends together as shown. Now connect the harness for the gray and white CCFL wires to each other. The harnesses can only go together one way, so don't worry about getting them reversed. Again, never modify or splice the gray and white wires. Slide the black heat shrink covers over the CCFL wires. You'll need to use a heat gun or a hair dryer or lighter to shrink the covers. That concludes pre-wiring for our CCFLs. Whether you have CCFLs or LEDs, your next step is to test your new headlight before installation. Connect the red and white leads to the positive terminal and the black lead to a negative terminal to check if all the LEDs and halos light up. Check all the LEDs thoroughly before installation. It's important to note that if you have any out LEDs, they can be replaced in most cases. Contact your rep for more help. 
Whether you have an LED or CCFL assembly, it's installed exactly the same way. Now we'll install the turn signal lamp bulb, but before you do, be sure that its bulb socket gasket is in place. Install the socket by twisting it into position. Now to connect the headlights. Remove the original headlight bulb from the socket. There, now that we've got the bulb free, we have to connect the headlight harness to the socket. There's really only one way it can go together, so just go ahead and plug it in. To run the cool features of your spider headlights, you must tap a power source. Most users choose to tap their park lamps for power. Turn on your park lights to test which wire is which. Tapping the park lamps is okay whether you've got LEDs or CCFLs. The park lamp or turn signal will have three wires running to it. To determine which is which, use a voltmeter. Start by connecting the voltmeter's black negative needle to a ground or ground wire. Then take the red positive needle for the voltmeter and push it through one of the wires for the park lamp. If that wire's reading bounces up and down on the voltmeter, that wire is the turn signal. On the other hand, if the voltage remains steady, that's the park or running light. Connect the white LED and CCFL lead to the running light. Then connect the black negative lead for the LEDs to the black or negative wire for your parking lamps. Now seat the headlight. Now, going back to where we started, reinstall the two Torx screws that secure the headlight. With the two Torx screws reinstalled, now just install the 10mm nut in the fender well. Be sure to replace the access plug when you're done. After this, just repeat the process for the other side and it's time to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Congratulations, you've successfully installed your Spider LED Halo headlamps. Hang on just a minute and we'll move on to CCFL. Now for the CCFL version with a chrome housing. 